I can't believe this has reached me again within the space of six or seven months. So anyways, my daddy asleep, but I feel a better jerk. I mean, I said, no man, I not dream. Like, I said, how can I earthquake this? I take me to the middle of the night and I better shake and everything. I end up jump up out of the sleep. But I jump up out of the sleep. No, I see the man at the side of the bed. I mean, I said, where really are you going? I see him run towards the window. You go to your bed, you not expect the worst. So I look now and we are walk back and forth and we are saying, something is really strange. He's in a la la land so, and the man I jump through my window. I take up phone and I take up jewelry. Hi guys. Welcome back to another video and before we even get into anything Hi, welcome back. Missed you guys. Love you guys and I am so 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 happy to be here But we have to get down into the meter things So if you guys are interested in watching this video on how my apartment got robbed not once but twice Please keep on watching Boss, 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 boss Anything to nine, you touch that half you seal. Boss, that's half you seal. So, right now, as I was saying, guys, welcome back. You know, we feel refreshed, we feel brand new, we feel like all new people here on this channel but we're not new to this we're true to this i am so 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 happy to be here with you guys after being away from you for so long i really and truly have no real explanation that i even feel like you guys are going to be like oh all right then cool yeah we'll forgive her no really and truly life was just lifing and i got caught up in a lot of things i should say which we will reveal in the next few episodes on this channel this video being one there has been a lot of things going on in my life and I'm gonna have to get you guys up to date. If I'm talking funny also, I just put my permanent retainer in and I'm not yet used to it. So I'm so sorry if I sound like I have like a list or if there's like extra spit in my mouth, there is not any of those things. It's just the, me trying to get used to this. But of course, you guys are here for the video. You guys are here to catch up with your girl. So let us get right into it. If you have not yet followed me on Instagram, please follow my Instagram page at Tananya and follow me on TikTok, which is where I am mostly daily. Cause remember these videos for you guys are normally on Fridays but if you want to see me daily and you want to catch up with me live you can check out my TikTok page at Tananya again and yes if you're new here please click that subscribe button let's keep building our channel and keep growing I did miss my YouTube community and I will never neglect you guys like this again so as I was saying on let's call it the 16th of March it was a normal Thursday night normally for you guys who really know me or who are close with me like that I get my house cleaned every Friday it's just a ritual for me I like a very clean space I like my stuff to be reorganized and I do that every Friday so I have a cleaning lady who would come on Fridays so of course Thursday night I would go through and just like put away whatever I need to so she has this space coming out of her life she's not really bad pan the cleaning like that me that one before this we really know how to get down into it and everything but that one you're kind of more on the 5 out of 10 level so I try to sort the things out before she comes put my dirty clothes in the washroom so she can get them for wash as she reach organize my perfumes pack up the excess things so Thursday night of course I would have been preparing for that. I'm not really somebody who goes out a lot. So you guys would be like, oh, it's Thursday night, whatever, shit, they're warm. Yes, they're warm. I watch my local Netflix and stuff. So from about, because I have the I have the camera footage. I have cameras in my living room, living room only as of right now. But I'm going to invest in some more. So from my camera footage, I would have gone to bed on the 17th of March. So this is Friday morning now, a.m., right? I would have gone to bed from 12.53. No, I was not alone. I was not, let us be clear. And I... I thank God for that. I thank God that I was not here by myself because I'm not sure what I would have done. You know, I'm going to go on my bed 12.53. I'm going to drink my little tea because I have my little nighttime routine. You know, I'm going to go shower. I'm also going to show you guys that. You know, I'm going to shower, do my little scrub, do my little skincare, I'm going to brush my teeth, I'm going to scrub my tongue, everything. I'm going to drink my tea, I'm going to read my or daily bread. I'm going to go on my bed. Right. Anyways, nothing out of the ordinary. Slept, I should say, like a baby. I do have cameras in my living room, as I was telling you guys before, and they vibrate when there is motion because they're motion detected but of course your girl kind of sleep a little bit dead and i do not sleep with the the sound on on my phone so my phone is just on vibrate if anything yeah me i'm not really the person where i got call in case of an emergency and i just a truth come me want my rest right so slept through the night and i got up at about 9:08 a.m no i got up and i was passing my dresser there's like a small dresser at the opening where the door is now i didn't sleep with the door closed i like sleeping with the door 
door open, the bedroom door, so you know you can't hear what's going on on the outside of the living room or whatever. So the bedroom door is open. So you know I'm gonna get up now because of course I'm morning time now. May I go get up now for go open the front door for letting in the lady. So I'm gonna get up now, may I say, oh my dress I look a little shift up, a little different ish. But I never really take no check. I'm go out in the living room, I'm go out in the living room. I see like I have some some neck, some styrofoam heads that my my cosmetic jewelry and my real jewelry are on. So let me reach out in the living room now, I'm gonna sit them there on the, the, the sofa. So may I say, when did when I put did these I put on the sofa? On the... So I turned to the gentleman and I said, gentleman, why you took my stuff up and put them on the sofa? And he's like, I, did, I didn't do anything. I didn't move anything. And then I also like saw like my laptop was by the window and a few other stuff were just like open. Like the place, it just looked like a pull up. I never saw me leave it. Come on, I already telling her, say, I organized my stuff them for the lady come clean. I'm morning, remember me telling her that. So me, I look now and we are walk back and forth and we are saying, something is really strange. So we come back in the bedroom now and right by the bed foot, but this is on the side out. He would have slept so I never saw it there were like some boxes there I had some hangers some extra hangers because I was organizing the closet as I said and there were just some stuff on the floor but those stuff I left them closer to the door and I woke up to them right by the foot of the bed so me said would I never put the box there right here so because I know so the gym come on and go come off at the side of the bed and I'm gonna lick him too in a night especially if I'm getting for pee pee you understand some said something all right so like I feel like we both clicked at the same time I looked at him and he looked at me and we're like let's check the camera lo and behold when we reversed the camera and checked the footage there were actually the clips there because remember it's motion detected so you can see where the camera sent us the notifications at about 4 a.m that morning and we watched these clips in awe take a look So here, as you saw in the clip, we have the gentleman, nice man like him living at a place, like him know the place and everything. You know, standing them striped top and him cut off foot jeans, right? I'ma see my walk up and down here, so him pass the camera. Of course, he didn't see, it, but the camera does click when it starts recording. So I feel like he's probably not used to it. So you know, the click, it click. I know it click, right? Can I start recording? Cause here we are watching him and him pass. You know, him go to the dining table. Yes, him I look for see where him put on a left on the dining table. So him look this at the dining table, and this now is a gentleman man's phone so the guy who I had here had a Samsung phone he left it on the dining table now of course y'all go your bed you not expect the worst so we're not gonna sleep with all the phones and all the devices in the room in the money none of them stuff there but glory be to God we did that anyways thank God right just that phone that was outside so you know him pass him take up him phone this then put him phone in his pocket so yeah my good friend passed and him see him Samsung phone him left on the table and then someone take up that phone and I feel like in the second clip that we're looking at he heard the camera so you see him walk over to it and him touch it and he turned it towards the cupboards there in the kitchen no I could not really see much after that but must see where him come back over towards the cupboards I don't know what was on the kitchen sink that he was looking at but you know him do him have to do and these three clips in total they ran from 4 a.m. till 4 12 so this gentleman was in my house I walk up and I look for the things that went put on fat probably about 15 minutes or more because Remember, I said after him would have gone to the cupboard this out and him look, he would have then made his way to the bedroom. I do not know how, but I am happy that I did not wake up in the night. The gentleman never pleased about it because the gentleman did want to buck him. You understand, you know, old man said, like I said, the bedroom door was not closed. So he, the fact that he made his way towards the bedroom and him come as far as right at the opening this out, for could have take off the jewelry them and take off the styrofoam neck with the jewelry because that was heavy. Like every costume jewelry I've gotten for the past few years were on those two necks right i'm gonna show you what them look like they're not clean i don't use them anymore so that's how they look like this but they would have had these them scunch here and then the chains would have been hanging i had all my previous jewelry on these two necks by the door now as i said the door never clock never locks it even never have to open nothing for coming for come take them up but the fact that none of them fell to wake me up really and truly i give god thanks because i don't know what he came here with i don't know if he had a knife i don't know if he had a gun we looked at him like you know on different angles 
struggles from the video to see if he had any of those things we don't know if him have none but we're not taking no check like i said i'm grateful really really grateful that i was not awoken in the night to see this man when we really come out in the living room now and we are look we realize that he made his way through the living room window now me personally i know it's not not the safest thing but i like fresh air i like breeze so the windows are there and they have locks yes of course but i did not close them going to my bed i had the mesh drawn so i could get the fresh air without the dust you know i know lizard and them something that come through the window so the window was not closed so he apparently climbed on the downstairs window sill for the downstairs neighbor and then made his way through my window and just pushed the mesh come in stand up on my couch and jump down now i do have the plant lights in the living room but they illuminate the living room pink so it's not white so i feel like he was probably making his way around the living room but him can't really see properly because no lights are on outside of those pink lights same after just i look for things we are shine for can't catch him eye so i mean in the morning you know we'll wake up and we'll go downstairs we're alerted the security i also called my landlord i told him i sent him the footage you know he was trying to reassure me and he's like you know good thing say it no worse all he took was just your jewelry i'm i'm guessing he not really know nothing about laptop can never take the laptop as i said my ipad was also out there my imac was there my tv and him something up on the wall outside on a normally by the big tv in a christmas but i guess him can't carry that through the window and it was also just him because when we watched the footage of the complex because the complex does also have cameras we realized it was just him he just made his way over the tall wall over the barbed wire and just step over it natural and normal like no no you know not even like a eye jump i'm just kind of stretching foot and come over and jumped down from the rubbish the rubbish kind of like i have a rubbish house so i'm just jumped down from that and make him wait and i'm assuming he targeted my house I don't know but I'm assuming he targeted that because everything else on the downstairs floor had grills my apartment is on the second floor as I told you guys when I was moving here and only two of the apartments on the second floor don't have grill mine and another lady we have our dad our son and our husband right but I feel like he never went to that apartment because that one is facing the road mine the window that he came through is towards the side so it would have kind of been shadowed you're not gonna really pass and see him at the side there so but if you decide to him they're gonna go at the lady place now that's facing the road you drive past and you gotta see the person going through the window all right no say no way downstairs where i talked to the security now apparently because i i did have security on the complex at that time apparently the security who was there is an older gentleman and he had a bit much to drink so he was passed out he didn't hear anything he didn't see anything he was just gone him not have no assistance for getting on the way i saw because him know nothing where i go on him in a la la land so and the man i jumped through my window i take up phone and i take up jewelry so we could see downstairs the footprints you know in the mud and that's what i that telling us that we realized that he climbed the side of the wall and from the side there so my landlord did i will comment him on that he did get like police to come to me they never do much like they might ask me some little question about whatever happened but i was the one who was forthcoming with the information i feel like i needed to do the security work like i mean i feel say all right then i have a tattoo on him left and right i say i'm slim him eye them look wild maybe him dip or something like i mean i feel do the work for them i mean i tell them and i saw me i tell them i said them i write it down they told me that since he moved the camera right since him touch it then they're gonna send somebody for fingerprint it new year and everything i don't say nobody come for fingerprint anything i also spoke to my landlord about getting grills because again that night i wasn't sleeping alone but remember i'm an independent woman i have my apartment on my own i am going to be here on my own another time in the future so you know me that talk to my landlord and he must say okay let's get grills he sent somebody here to measure them we'll measure everything we'll measure the door we'll measure the windows bathroom window kitchen window everything right and we said okay we're gonna get this done now i realized that i kept calling and i kept checking up to find out you know when could we get the grills actually installed my landlord let me know said okay the man have some other work for do so i'm just gonna have to keep waiting and to be honest with you i was a bit apprehensive but i'm not the type of person to like get antsy about it so i was like okay i'm so wait mega wait i feel like he has my best interest at heart i've been living here for three years now i've been a great tenant as far as i see it i've never been late on my rent i've never owed me not go on with nothing minute invite nobody in my apartment when i'm in a nice man i do none of them something the most look nice they were here i probably want me to on tiktok and i've learned how to tone down right so i said all right then may i go on wait may i go on wait may i go on wait you know every now and then i might check in and i might say hey what's going on he might say oh you know may i call him or you call him so i started calling the gentleman he said okay he's waiting on my landlord to pay so he could get the material and him could have come when i talked to my landlord my landlord said thank well i wait for the material forget the man asked dead call fat no grills were installed fine my day you're not 
and I started to just take a little bit more safety precautions because I said, okay, clearly, may I live alone, may I have to figure out what may I do. So I started to be a little bit more on my P's and Q's, and then of course, you know, my the gentleman say, I'm kind of afraid, so let's make this sleeping over thing a little bit more, like, let's make it more regular because now I'm afraid, I not have no grill, and I don't really know what me could I do or what I would have did if I was alone. So of course, you know, my start closed my balcony doors with key and lock and everything. The windows though, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, again, I like fresh breeze. So I was actually out. So for those of you guys who don't know, I keep a party series called Girls Night Out Fridays. You can follow the Instagram page and also check us out. We are hosted at the House of Booze on Holborn Road in New Kingston. So I started keeping that party series, you know, with me and two other partners of mine, Shanice and Paris. So it's a Friday series. So you know the Friday, my gone out because of course me I deal with my business because of course me I must have the girl at Jack of all trades. You understand me I for the one and two other stuff for try to ensure so I get my money together. So I was out that Friday. Now this is in October. So we're fast forwarding. So first time the man come through my window was March. Yes, so we're now in October. This is the 7th of October to be exact. Now I came in at about 2.30. I'm going to check the camera because again, remember I told you guys the camera does let me know. So yes, the camera is saying the last time it has me recorded in the living room, it was 2.48 a.m. Now remember, I'm not sleeping alone now, right? So of course, gentlemen lock up the place. Mr. Arden, cool, the doors are locked, whatever. Just, just leave the window open and the bedroom one to just get some fresh breeze. Let's draw the mesh with Gucci. Some of them are laid on now. Remember, say, like, when you go out, guys, you're dead. When you're dead monk sound, your ears have a little, like, it's an echo. Like, you're not ears so clear out of your ears, right? So, of course, you know, so one of my ears don't look good already from previous thing. Me, me I don't know what about it. But one of the ears, them now black up. So, anyways, my daddy asleep, but I feel a better jerk. I mean, I said, no, man, I'm not a dream. Like, I said, okay, the earthquake, this will take me down the night and a bit of shake and everything and but end up jump up out of the sleep but I jump up out of the sleep no I see the man at the side of the bed and me I say what really I go on I see him run towards the window this window to be exact I see him run towards the window and I can hear him saying something but I not hear clearly because my ears block up from the loud music when I inner from GNO because remember I say would have left GNO and come home in the night too fat to eat now and I got my bed laid on and everything ears block up and I hear the man I shout and me I say what 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 happened and him say somebody there at the window so me jump up in the bed now me I say Mr. Gelway Mr. New Days so you get love on the top, just underwear the girl just not sleeping or anything. You understand what I mean? So I'ma jump up now cause me a fright. I'ma me a fright. I'ma see him at the window. I'ma see him bolt go out in the living room. So me jump up out of the bed now and me bolt behind him. When we go out in the living room now, we had our suitcases on the floor still cause we had just come back from Colombia for his birthday trip. So the suitcase them still in the living room kind of open. Some of them partially open. Some stuff they on the living room table. Some they on the dining table. Some they in the chair. Like me not even gonna tell you no, no lie. I was not expecting a robbery. So all my stuff was just out. The only difference about this time and the last time is that the bedroom door was closed. Because we started thinking about it and we say, yo, if anything and a man come here again, he would have come in and wait in the bedroom, right? So I see him bolt and him there at the, him there at the balcony door and my ear, my, yeah, my, I slew about it in my cuss after the boy. I slew about it because by the time, you know, when me go and, and look, you hear the person jump down, like you hear the jump down and you see my run through the yard and him jump the wall he have him look a bag, he jump the wall with the bag and him go over. Me a shake. Come on, I said the first time I never saw him. This time, I actually hear everything. I'm actually I see the person I jump the wall and everything. Me I said murder police. Wall go go on her to say me a shake. Me see the wall of my things. Them I start go through my stuff. Them now cause me I said shit. These are all my valuables like my passport, my watches, my ju my actual jewelry, my cameras again, my laptop, my tea. Like me start to look now. Me I said Jesus God. Me can't believe this. I reached me again within the space of six or seven months. May I look around, may I look around and then of course, you know, here's the kick. Whoever on my complex who is managing it decided that having securities in the nighttime makes no sense because they don't want to pay for security. They don't want to pay for the maintenance. It's too expensive. And then I guess because I got robbed the last time with that security here, they're like, oh, let's not have any securities in the nighttime. So the security guard house is empty. We just have cameras with nobody there watching them. So he just made his way over the wall. There was nobody there to even run him, tussle with him, nothing. You understand? 
my gentleman do after they show to him and the slow about them over the balcony him run go downstairs and whatever pull the gate and go up on the road for watch him and he watched him run down the road of course he naga can't catch him and we don't know where him go go we don't know if nobody around the corner wait you understand but he just wanted to see like forget uh, even a little idea of what was really going on so as i say no him come back upstairs me alone i realized that i watched that cassie had cassandra had bought me for my birthday it was on the dining table and that was gone and i realized that like on my little liquor trolley i had like four bottles of moit at the bottom he took two of those bottles and that's all i found that was missing at the time now the watch i never ever realized the watch was missing the same day i realized the watch was missing like a week and a half afterwards when i was talking to rowan and he bought a similar watch and i was like wait my watch is gone when i spoke to my landlord he was like oh the person's downstairs said they heard something you know they heard when he jumped down and i was like how oh, you hear that i ain't not alert nobody and then people that downstairs like they would text me said the lady up here are clean and oh she had dropped the broom then would have text me and oh the noise and whatever whatever so somebody in a middle of night 4 a.m come and know you must think that's strange somebody in the middle of night you hear somebody outside and you did not say anything again them good like i said everybody on this complex cares about themselves them good so them inside them are for them grill them are for them floodlights and for them cameras them good that the man never come for rob them so it no matter to them yeah so when we did go down in the morning now and we were talking because then the security who comes on in the day because that's the only time they have security in the daytime because that makes sense right so i was talking to him because we are a little bit familiar and i was telling him what was going on he let me know that there was another apartment remember i told you there were probably two apartments here who doesn't have grill i found out later on it was three that don't have grills there on the top so apparently when i heard the uh, my partner here or he said he heard somebody by this window the person who broke in probably went over to the other apartment no there were some persons who were come who came in from abroad because the other, other apartment is on airbnb and he apparently took like their passports their money their travel documents all of that the guy made off with all of that because apparently this time remember there is no security now and he could see that there is no security and remember i'm coming already he map it out him spend a long time because if on my camera alone it records him being in my apartment for 30 minutes imagine when he went to the other apartment watching the clip i couldn't see much i remember they said a second time this is the same guy yeah this is the same guy same guy with the tattoo same brown guy same cut off foot pants only thing is this time him having like a blue jeans so him coming this time now him here i'm getting like a color and i'm here too if you can see it from the clips him coming but remember said he would remember that the camera is there so even though the first clip shows him by the dining table and like over by the cupboards there by the second clip no actually he didn't i thought he would have remembered that the camera is there but we are like well four or five clips in before him even realize or remember that the camera is there him look looking at it and then him turn it again just like he did the first time but we already see when did i do we already saw what he was doing if you guys can see in the video my suitcases are there on the floor my bag my travel bag is on the dining table there and you guys can see the lights from the plant lights i tell you that i sleep with them on so that pink light is on but you won't show pink because the camera is in night mode so that's why it just look black and white to you right now but you know the man just walk and look the way my do the camera footage is showing that he was in the house from 3 25 a.m to at least four o'clock because the camera is picking him up right here at four o'clock even though you're not seeing him but the fact is that there is motion so the camera is sensing that there's motion in the area but you're not seeing him and then in the morning now i received a clip from my landlord for the people who live downstairs the ones who asked for there to not be any more security yeah they sent from their camera at 3 43 a.m him walking in the courtyard you can see where he put the two the two bottles of moet down by the guard house and then at the 3 58 or the 4 a.m you can hear when my gentleman is screaming to him and he took his bags and went over the rubbish house no i would have never thought i would have found myself in a situation for a second time i feel like a lot of it i will take the i will take the blame for it and the responsibility because i'm the one living here and i knew that i needed grills thank god again it was nothing worse i had to like get onto my landlord about it and i was like if it was more serious like if this man decided to sexually assault me we wouldn't be having this conversation you would have probably been quicker to give me the grills right or if it was a case where he had unalived me we wouldn't even be having this conversation this man came here once already he already him know him, him know the ease of which him can come over the wall and the ease of which him can come in on my place him done map it out already him say yeah man a friday night this i can come in and just whoop prop gets to thing i run out him could have never walked through my door so he clearly came to the front already did what he needed to do at the front come down and come around to the back bedroom and was going to try to make his way through this back 
window. I'm assuming he figured the more valuable things this time in the bedroom. Because the first time he never get what we do not know. As I said, he probably don't know nothing about Apple products. He don't know where I'm going to sell them. He don't know. He probably want to. Per I don't know. I don't know. But he made his way here. And if it wasn't for that gentleman here sleeping with me that night, me dead to the world. Me can't hear my ears. Not good. Right? The window is open. The gentleman could have made his way through. And I said all of these things to my landlord and up until this day new year february 2024 because these occurrences was march 2023 and october 2023 i do not have grills i do not have grills the only difference is i now don't sleep alone in the night and i ensure that every single thing is closed the gentleman also ensures every single thing is closed and we don't run no check again none bathroom window kitchen window side window everything lock up so me in here we are in here locked up key lock everything door padlock everybody lock up closed yeah because we now run a check and there's clearly nobody on this apartment complex looking out for me they're just looking out for themselves so them install them camera them install them light them have them grill already them good them gucci and that's what i hate about this apartment complex and i'm here to tell you guys that i'm not staying here anymore so i mean i never saw much changes to be honest in the apartment complex after that i did like i said i quarreled with my landlord about not having the grills and i still just never felt like anybody cared or he even cared like it happened and it's done whatever no police came this time none came again like i said even from the first time they were supposed to come and do the dusting of the nobody did that I, I guess they just started they just started to normalize the fact that oh he's robbing this apartment we don't care it's not our fault it's not our issue it's fine and i don't know i just, just kind of lose our fight and i just felt disconnected from the place but just starting to myself i mean i said yo this probably is my sign from God to go. Because me take everything as signs from God. Me not just think anything I'm just just willy nilly. I believe everything happens for a reason. It I'm the first time I okay, I was okay with it. Clearly I let it slide. My slack off six or seven months later it happened another time. You get me? And this time the man in here longer. Me now go give him a third chance. Right? As much as my mind in here I'm a lock up and the, whatever the grills and whatever. Remember there's nobody in this apartment complex looking out for me. Me I look out for myself. I'm a a female independent right they are most time by myself it's not safe it's not safe and the fact that i moved here and there was 24 hour security we have the fence then we have camera we have floodlights in the night and then all of a sudden the homeowners decided that oh we don't want to pay maintenance especially the ones that live below me oh the maintenance is too high let's do away with security and let's let's just slack off on a lot of things i guess it benefits them but it does not benefit me the good thing about being a renter is that you can get up and leave whenever something no longer benefits you or you don't like it anymore and that is why I never necessarily had a problem with renting or like moving up and down because I can find what I need when I need it so the good thing about it is I can get up and leave I don't agree with what they're doing again I'm not a homeowner I do not have a say to say hey but I've been robbed twice here and security in nighttime makes sense it makes sense to have security it makes sense for have patrol I cannot say anything I do not own anywhere and that's just the truth of how it is and that's just the truth of how the matter is right and we have to take things for what they are so instead of trying to to change the situation i'm changing how i react to the situation i'm changing how i present it so i have decided to leave i decided to do away with it i've been here for three years like i said i've never had any issues with them the person who i feel like is really the catalyst to it is the person who moved in last and they live below me they're a homeowner yeah they moved in long after i did but they are homeowners so they have the more say so i'm gonna just leave the space to them you know whatever they want to do with it is fine like i said glory be to god i'm in a position where i can actually move to somewhere else like when they flat by my face like i said i was trying to put my coins together because i did have plans i did have plans they were just they're just not ready to materialize as yet but glory be to god like i said when they on my face i'm a can go find somewhere else so it is what it is guys that is just how the cookie crumbles like i said i've not even pressed my landlord about it again like my still asked to the grill when it just happened like days after i was texting every day hey what about the grill hey what no real you know urgency and that hurt hurts me a lot like i said because we've always had a good relationship i've been here for a very long time me not want nobody never have never will yeah and for just show the people that deal with me when i love it but it's okay that's how life is and like i said it's just my time so i just need you guys to know that so there will be some changes moving forward and i hope that you guys will stick around with me as i transition you guys have been here with me through a lot of stages in my life i don't feel like this one will be any different um so let's just get prepared i'm also trying to prepare mentally because i 
I'm not yet there. I'm not seeing myself moving because again, this was never in my plans for any time right now. 2024 March, no. So it's very difficult. I'm very conflicted. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Also, you know, I just, it's just a lot of things. I guess it's the fair, but um, we're going to do what we can do. We're strong people. Yeah. So we're going to do our best. And I hope that you guys will stick around with me for this new journey I remember when the first attacks happened and you know i told like my friends and they were like move 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 and i was just like guys i'm not ready for move it i've been here three years them treat me good in terms of like i've never i've never had any issues with them if i have like the water one fixed whatever with the tongue i can text my landlord me get it done also i know the plan that i had for my life and i was just like i'm saving up this money to acquire another apartment like this is well within my budget it is comfortable for me i can and make my money and save my money i can flip my money whilst living here but i don't know clearly there is something else or there's a bigger plan for me that i'm not seeing and that's why this occurrence had to happen to me twice and i again will give all the glory to god that it was not worse that all i lost were material things and you know just a little bit shaken up but i cannot stay here i cannot make my god sis say in my try get me to move i'm gonna move you understand i'm warm if i leave the place i'm gonna leave i was also having like some issues with the neighbors downstairs like i was mentioning to you guys before you know with me being on tiktok and i just feel like it's a personal thing i do not strive to be like somebody who is for themselves especially on a complex but i feel like because i'm i'm probably the only person here who doesn't own their apartment and i feel like because of that i'm treated much differently especially from the persons who live below me i'm gonna just feel like i just time for just call it quits I just time for call it quits I can't fight it no more I'm not a fighter when it comes to these type of things I kind of just allow God for work it out and like I said I feel like probably I'm at the point where this apartment this location everything here has served me as long as it can and a time for my goal I'm just gonna take this as my sign as signal to leave as much as this is not the plan I had for myself and I feel shame <laughs> I feel shame, I cut me and say, boy, girl, you really try to hustle, you really try to put one and two together for see if you can get something for yourself. You really have to come back again on the internet and I move for the, what's this, the second time? Moving for you guys to see. I could do a whole other apartment tour for you guys to see. This is not the plan that I would have had for myself. Which is why I was telling you guys I stayed away from like YouTube and whatever just because I really, really, really never want to come come telling us, hey guys, me I gotta move again. And I'm not moving into my own place as I would have wanted, but I just life. And I feel like I've not yet come to, I'm not yet at peace with this, the decision. But just I move because I know my offer move. And by moving, I mean, I mean the physical pack up. I mean, I'm just, I'm doing this because I know that this is what I have to do. I have to keep moving, I have to keep swimming, I can't stop in the middle of the journey and flustered and whatever it's time to go and i'm going i'm not gonna hold on onto the place you know what i've done to the place because i know a lot of persons when i used to fix it was like why i fix up people place but i knew in the back of my mind i knew the plan that i had i knew the conversation i also had with my landlord i mean he has since changed his mind i assume because i've tried to you know have a conversation with him and be like you know i'm ready but i feel like he has since changed his mind i don't know why and i'm not forcing it i am just gonna go i'm gonna leave everything that i invested in the place so you know when i did the backsplash every other thing that i did painting it whatever yes i'm gonna go and leave it again i wouldn't change it the fact that i did those things because they were to make me comfortable in the space and also like i said i knew in the back of my mind why i was investing in this space it was supposed to be mine you know i was supposed to own it but man i plan on got a wipe that's just how it is but i do have faith in my journey and i do have faith in my god also he has never taken something away from me and not given me something better so i say that to say i will be looking for a new apartment a new apartment i'm not in the position as yet i needed at least a very short amount of time to get into the position that i needed to be to acquire something so i'm close not there as yet making this big step of looking another apartment like i said it was never in my books no time soon especially not for right now not for 2024 not for us to be march in 2024 and i'm packing up to move into a new apartment but i'm grateful that i'm able to 
do that. You know, I could have been in a worse off situation where my need for move and can't move. So I'm grateful that I'm able to do that. I'm gonna look for a place ASAP. I'm not gonna stretch it out here any longer. I don't want it to be a third time I come back and say, oh my primary was robbed thrice. You know, no, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to listen to my God. So I'm just grateful for small things. I'm grateful that I'm able to move. I'm grateful that um, I still have life, that it wasn't worse, that what he took were material things. I'm just grateful for certain things. I'm grateful for certain people God put into my life because I met a realtor not even two weeks ago and I just reached out to her and I said, hey, I think I want to get a place and she's been working with me. So I'm going to take you guys on another journey again. So I'm going to be back on the internet as shameful as it is looking at apartments again to move again. Not yet into my own space that I own, but God's willing, it will be very, very soon. You guys will live to see me come here and say, you know, about my not first, but second apartments real soon, guys. But um, yeah, we're going to be starting our apartment journey and I say our we'll talk about it guys we will I'm gonna be looking for apartments again so wish me luck I will take you guys on the journey as much as I'm not as comfortable as I was before you know because again moving right now is not necessarily my choice but I'm gonna take you guys along because I've showed you guys just about everything else I'm as as transparent as they come so I'm gonna show you guys the process as we did before show you guys moving and packing up this place you know and saying goodbye but I do thank you guys for watching this video thank you always please try to be kind in the comment section i'm already going through it but yeah thank you guys so much for watching like the video you know subscribe to my channel you can share it with your friend if you want let them know what it is hopefully i will be back with you guys in a couple days to look at some apartments and then we could choose and get this moving process going because i do not want to tarry here any longer because again i'm not comfortable i do not feel safe and i also do not feel like anybody on this complex is looking out for anybody outside of themselves so i got to go you know i got to go we just gotta go even though it's not what we have planned for ourselves we are trusting the process we are believing in our lord jesus christ and we are holding on to our faith that's as small as a mustard seed so thank you guys again so much for watching like the video share it with your friends as i said subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you guys next time bye